Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about virtue signals, but a particular kind of virtue signal, which is not just a signal or a badge, but an actual position or argument. So let's just back up for a second and talk about a virtue signal. A virtue signal is something that I can wear or do or be seen to be doing in such a way that others know that I'm really part of that group. There's some particular group, uh, cult or religion, just a, so whatever, some kind of group that has a typically a social narrative and reputation hierarchy within it. And key to the virtue signal is that it is something that you wouldn't otherwise do. If it was, if the virtue signal was something that anybody would want to do, it's just pr totally practical, I want to do that, well then everybody would do it and it wouldn't serve the purpose of, of, of showing who's a member and who's not. So it ought to be typically functionless. There's no good reason to do it. So for example, masks. Now, I'm not saying that the individual people who believe in masks are, are faking it, they're not. These are, these are functions that occur at the level of the societal whole or the groups of, of, the, of the social narratives. Masks, if anybody actually thought about this, they obviously don't work. These are spread by aerosols. They just squirt off the sides, they go everywhere. When you wear them, you're wearing them to show righteous membership within this particular cult, this kind of safety cult that's developed. And one of the reasons that you know that it's a, it's a virtue signal, and we've talked about this before, is that if you put words on there saying, I'm wearing this, but I don't agree, or you put the smiley face, which just means that, folks who are in that cult do not like it. Folks will say, you're, by virtue of you not having the zeal for this kind of, uh, 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 this safe, for the safety, you're putting everybody at risk. And I see this all the time, actually, on Twitter. They're deeply angry. People are following the rules, but they're not putting, they're putting a counter signal to it. It undermines completely the mask because it's not about the safety, it's about the signal. It's about the virtue signal and the membership that it shows whether you're in the cult or not. But interestingly, you can have a, a position that is a, a, a stance or believe in propositions uh, that amounts to a virtue signal. So, and this is one of the reasons why um, I often avoided getting into these kinds of little spats all the time, because they're often not about the spats, they're not about the, the fundamental issues, they're really just making claims that I'm a member of this group. And so the key for, for a position, if a position is gonna serve the role of a virtue signal, well, it has to be a crazy belief. It has to be the kind of belief that no one would possibly believe unless you wanted to show that I'm a member of that group. Because if, if it was a per totally rational belief, well, then everybody's gonna believe it because it's a good, it's true, right? That doesn't work as a virtue signal. The signals that work as positions, so let me give you an example. The issue of men who have transitioned into women and want to be playing within women's sports. I've never entered that fray. I have no interest in entering that fray. Why wouldn't I? And there's dozens of examples of this kind. Why wouldn't I? This is not a position in the normal sense where two philosophers are arguing about the details of something. No, this is a virtue signaling position. It wears its counter argument on its sleeve, right? It's so obviously ridiculous, there's no sense in doing it. The only reason that what happens if you argue against it is you just outed yourself as someone who's not part of that community. I'll just tell people right away, okay, I'm not part of that community. There, if they want to cancel me, they can cancel me, but thereby I haven't spent six months trying to argue the details about why it's wrong when it's obviously ridiculous, right? Positions themselves can be virtue signals. And what makes them work as virtue signals is that they are irrational or obviously false. That's why they work. That's why we end up in many different areas of politics and group behavior that people espouse positions that are ridiculous. Now, it doesn't mean that they're lying. They really come to believe it. And with their community, people are asserting it over and over again. They really do come to believe it and their reputation in some sense depends upon believing it and reasserting it. But they're ridiculous, which is why I never did crazy because most of the time, a lot of these crazy positions weren't true arguments in the sense that I'm interested in really getting into. They're virtue signals. The only reason I answered the fray in terms of COVID was because the kinds of harms that are happening to society are occurring at astronomical speed compared to any of these little spats that have occurred in all these small things over the years. But it's deeply interesting how it can be the case that virtue signals can go from ribbons, physical objects on you, or things like this, or to little aphorisms that you might say that don't actually have propositional content, and they can sometimes just be actual positions themselves. So the point, is not to engage those arguments per se, just let them know you disagree, 
saves you a lot of time. And that was your science moment.